Ooh, right, exactly. That's me. What? Identical. Identical. Brussels sprouts, y'all. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Are you here? Oh, God. Seven snakes. That's She speaks the truth on my beard. <clears throat> Absolutely. I don't I don't drink. Ah sovereign lord. Nothing is too hard for you. We do this sometimes. It's like, ooh, I'm excited. <laughs> Yikes! Reach over and shake hands with his excellency. <sighs> no, it's not okay. Clapping unicorns, <laughs> clapping unicorns. I can't Okay, so I'm um, sure there's other things we'll tell, but I'm gonna yes. get into a few questions because this thing has gone on for a long time. Um, so the two two most popular questions were: Are you married? And do you have kids? And do you want to be married? And the answer is. And the answer is. Dun 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 dun. I uh, know I am not married, and I came up to Liberty with every intention of meeting a girl up here and getting married and going out, being a pastor. And, and a dad and a oh, husband. Oh, and a dad. No, exactly. And, I always wanted kids. Yeah. And that hasn't been in the the plans or the, or the, that has not, I can't think of the word. It has not transpired. It has not no. played out that way. That's right. Exactly. Those weren't, the, the, the cards dealt to me. Yeah. And, and there was a few times when I've told God, it's not fair. It's not fair that he had to give up all that. You know, right. Because he had this wreck, like, seems like Satan stole so much. But mm -hmm. God had other plans. And we... No, no, Satan. No, that's no. Right. That's right. And we don't know. We This life is such a short, you know, the Bible says it's a vapor and then it's right. gone. And then we have all of eternity. So in eternity, Patrick's going to have everything he ever wanted or desired right. and so much more and we're going to know why things happen and we're but so our job right now is just to trust the sovereignty of god mm -hmm. and to know that he's good even when bad things happen it's and true. to know that when they do things are going to be okay like it, he can use it for our own good so patrick is um has never been able, never met, married or no. had kids it would be really difficult to have a relationship sometimes i think because right. patrick has he does have um, highs and lows. With the TBI, you can get, get really angry and you can get really exhausted. You can get really uh, hyper focused on things. So it's a, it's, a, it's a roller coaster. And if you love someone who has a TBI, it's also a roller coaster for you. So you, because you, our right. family has had to learn, you know, to go with him as he goes up, uh, has his ups and downs. And someone asked if you ever get angry. And yes, he gets very angry because his TBI amplifies that. Right. And it's hard for him, and most of the time, it's because he needs to sleep. Like, <laughs> sleep is very, true. very important when you have a TBI. That's true. And so, Patrick, we always know if we're with him, we're doing stuff, like, Patrick needs to have his time to go and take a nap. <laughs> he's, on, a nap right. he's on vacation, or yeah. he's on Sunday yeah. afternoon after church. Like, he just needs to yeah. go, or even on Christmas. Sometimes you come yeah. over, and then you leave, and then you mm, come back. Yeah. He just knows, like, and our whole family, we just know, we just know, like, what he needs and what... But, you know, right. Patrick has to go out there in the world and be around people and, and go places and drive his car. And, like, for us as his family, we have to always be looking out. Like, is there something, you know, we need to go apologize for or is there something <laughs> we need to help him with? Right. You know, very simple tasks. Patrick isn't able to do a lot of those. So right. being married and supporting a family and having children would be really difficult. Yeah. I'm not saying impossible. If that's right. what God wants, right. that's what Patrick's right. heart's desire is. So. True. If any of you ladies out there, mm. you know, I get me so embarrassed. So you can, <laughs> trust me, that's, that's never not happened. It's you not true. tell them what your ideal woman looks like because he does yeah. have a type. He loves that's like true. really. Tell, tell uh, them. What okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I will. Okay. I love, I love Spanish-looking girls, girls with dark hair and dark skin, yeah, and dark eyes. Um, that just makes his heart go pitter patter. I was just, I was just feeling like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's just his type. Just FYI. Yeah, just course, FYI, y'all. You know, but then I, I he like just thinks all those girls. women are beautiful. But yes, yeah, he likes, he true. likes all girls. True. Yeah. So true. okay. So now for real, we're gonna yeah. get into some questions. Okay. So I'm, no, he's never been married. No. Never had children, but has always been his heart's desire. And if God sees it, sees it, it happening, then he's gonna make it happen. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, um, what, and then, yes. and then the next most popular question was, what do you do for a living? What is your job, Patrick? I, as a student, when I was going to Liberty as an undergrad, I got a 
part-time job on the campus, and I will not specify anything. Which department? Yeah, it's exactly. It's 434. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, the area of right? yeah. right. um, No, I was, I was working in a department at Liberty University uh, because I was there for so long, forever. And then I, I got a job in a certain department at Liberty, and then I was worked there for, it's been a decade, and I, I worked there for so long, and then I graduated, and then, oh, now I'm able to almost, almost double the hours that I'm able, able to work. I can only work 18 hours a week as a college student, and I was a college student for a long time. So basically, they, they created a position for him and have taken him on and given him a job all these years exactly. and supported him financially and he loves his job loves his people that is he true he would not physically or mentally be able to hold a full-time job because of his no. tbi there's no way um it's complicated but there's no way but right. um so liberty has stepped up and been yeah. amazing all these incredible. years incredible incredible it's been over a decade that i've worked there and patrick does um get disability it right. is something he will get for the rest of his life but he also wants to work yes so he works as much as he's legally allowed to work to, and to make with um you know being on disability so uh he loves his job that's what he does. He does not use his degree as of yet, but if he was true, to find true. the right job, you know. True, true. Then he would, then he may, who knows? Who exactly. knows? Exactly. God is in control. Okay, God Patrick, is sovereign. Yes. We're going to ask you some questions. What's your favorite color? Orange! orange. Woohoo! He's the orange guy. You That's know, true. He's known as the orange guy. You want to tell them why you're the orange guy? I like do, you? and I will. Back when I was going to LBI, and I wrote about this in my book. But anyhow, back when I was going to LBI, there was a box of clothes, like sort of like a Goodwill clothes, but it wasn't to Goodwill, it was to LBI class, classmates. And there was a shirt in there, an L.L. Bean shirt. Ooh. And, but I loved this shirt. It was a bright fluorescent orange shirt, and it, and it had a button. Kind of matches his personality. True. And then it had a button, and oh, I was excited. We had to wear ties. The guys had to wear ties when I first got there. Uh, in 98, um, and then I realized that I could wear a tie with it, and I was like, yes! Then, on Wednesdays for convocation, that's where Jerry Falwell would, would preach or teach to us kids, uh, Liberty students, and then I wore that shirt because it's bright, I mean, it's crazy bright, and I wore that shirt specifically so Jerry Falwell up there, when he's preaching to the kids, to the students, he could say, like, like this champion for Christ, but he never did. Well, Patrick wanted him to see, oh, hey, yes, yeah. I am back. Yeah, I live. That's right. And I came right. back, and hey, I it's me. took you Patrick. up on your on your scholarship, and it's me, Jerry Fallon. And of course, Jerry did know him of and course. loved him, and many times of did course. call him out. And, and But um, he wore the yellow, the orange, because he wanted, he wanted to stand out. That's yeah, true. Imagine that. Imagine that. What? Basically, Patrick and Madison are exactly the same person. Identical. <laughs> Identical. Patrick, her, he, she does not take after her Uncle Patrick. But that's no. why he likes orange, so it just became the thing he does. That's true. Okay, Patrick. Yes. What is your favorite thing to do on a date? On a date. Believe it or not, I mean, I'm not believe it or not. Before Patrick's head injury, Patrick had a lot of dates. Well, you know. I did. I mean, the ladies did like Patrick. And he Ooh. did have several girlfriends, and he did go on dates. Yes. So where would be your ideal date? Ideally, I, well, I love movies. I just love movies. <laughs> We're a movie-loving family. Oh, that's true. It's true. We all know that. And... I would go, like, like when I took the girl out on a date up here in Lynchburg, I took her to Applebee's. That was fun. Applebee's. Yes. Okay, so what's your favorite food, Patrick? My favorite food is, my favorite food is lobster, but that's a rare occasion. But that's okay. I know, right, exactly. But I do love lobster. I really lobster. think that there isn't a food that you don't like. You are right, really except don't... Brussels sprouts, y'all. Okay. okay, I'll never make that. Oh, except, except, let me tell you. Paula Dean has great Brussels sprouts <laughs> Patrick, in Savannah. I'm going to insert a picture. Patrick actually went to Savannah <laughs> oh my with gosh. his friend one day, yes. knowing Paula Dean lives there, and he just walked in a grocery store randomly, and he's like, Paula, Paula, Paula are you here? And she no, was there. She was there. Paula Dean herself she was, was there. actually there at, yep. at a, a grocery store in Savannah. So we met her that night and he's, oh. he got to be on a recording of like a, a cooking yes. show she did and online. It was pretty cool. Incredible. So he loves he loves him some Paula Dean because she makes right. good food. So. Yes, that's true. Right. I love food. Yes. <laughs> so people want to know how close you live to me. 
Oh, how close do I live? Probably, I would say, I would say a mile, give or take, probably. Yeah, yeah. Not far. Not far. Not far. Five to ten minutes. No, oh, yeah, yeah. He used to live on our street, oh. and then every time he came home or left, he stopped at my house every <laughs> single time. Oh, 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 <laughs> Drive down the road and honk, honk. Yeah. Yeah. Her neighbors probably didn't like that. Well, you know, he did but, move. He did yeah. move eventually. It's true, so. it's true. He does live by himself. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people want to know, how many pets do you have, Patrick? I have had multiple pets, but now I traded them all in. Well, tell them what you had. I have seven. Oh, yeah. Seven S snakes. Snakes. <laughs> Pet snakes. Four of them were corn <laughs> Exactly. Four of them were corn snakes, which are amazing, amazing uh, creatures. Creatures. <laughs> exactly. And I had one king snake, and I had one milk snake. And so when I traded them all in at Pet and Aquatic Warehouse. Not very long ago. Like no. You had them oh, years. in fact, and yeah, exactly. And then I traded them all in on January the no December the thirty first, twenty twenty. So for what? For 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 a blue eyed leucistic ball python. She's white, right? She's white. He he, he is His white. His name is Atticus. Ooh, Atticus. Named after our little nephew. Our In great the Bahamas. Nephew. Yeah, yeah. In the Bahamas. Yes. So, Patrick, do you love animals? People want to know. Oh, of course, animals. I definitely love animals. Yeah, I saw the shirts, the fun, vibrant shirts that I that I ordered. I, I saw them advertised on Facebook, and so I was I was looking through them and I was like, oh my goodness, oh I would love that, I would love that, I would love that. Would I? So I ordered five of them at a time, and they all five came in, and I've ordered. And that was the, the rest is history. True. Patrick's a fun personality, and he wants his clothes to be fun. And, and if exactly. you saw if you saw Elaine's wedding video, you saw what he decided to wear to that. The striped shirt, very true, colorful, true. and the bright yellow shoes, which that I think matched. almost got more. Uh, attention than Elena did. So no. tell us about your yellow shoes. I got nice. questions. What size do you wear? Where yes. do you get the shoes? I wear the shoes. I wear usually a size ten and a half. But with my Nikes and with my Vans, I go size eleven because they're a little bit more comfortable fit. So where'd you get those yellow ones? Oh, and I got those yellow ones. They're Under Armors, and I got them online because I saw them for sale one day for sixty nine dollars. I was like. I love those. He like really, really loves shoes. That's that is a random true. fact. Patrick loves like girls love shoes. Like he loves yeah. shoes. <laughs> like he collects them and then he'll get rid of like ten and then he'll go buy ten more. And I'm That's... like, Patrick, you don't have room oh, man, for more I... shoes. Oh, it's the last one. And then the next <laughs> one. Oh, it's the last one. I promise. Promise this is the last one. And then he finds a good deal and he just <laughs> cannot help himself. That's she the thing speaks he the truth. Yeah. That's what he splurges on. That and bluebell ice cream. Oh. We got yeah. some bluebell up in our freezer waiting mm -hmm. for us when this is over. We got Ooh. some pecan pralines and cream. Yes. Co-worker of mine got me, because I always talk about bluebell it's at work, and she hooked me up with lots of bluebell. Peaches and cream and pralines and uh, cream. Peaches and homemade <laughs> vanilla. God bless them. There's, um, there's, uh, that, that was like an hour away from us. That's, a, that's the, oh, yeah. the closest we can go to get bluebell. So yeah, we've got some bluebell waiting for us. I'm not only going to have a little bowl because I'm not trying to eat yeah, a lot of sugar. Exactly. Okay, on with the questions. People want to yes. know, why do you not have a YouTube channel? Well, y'all, I kind of do. <laughs> he, did, he, did, he did try it. It's just the, True. the whole editing and all Oh my that. gosh, I don't have the time for editing. Or I don't the, have the patience. Or the ability to really understand a lot of Exactly. It. Huh. So he makes really short Facebook videos. Oh, just I do that right all the time. So all he doesn't really do YouTube. He, he has in the past, but... I have in the past, but I kind of let that expire when, like, 2014, because... Yeah, just it's uh, just it's hard for him with the TBI. Right, that's just really difficult. That's very he true. He learns he learns what he's capable of. Basically, if you meet Patrick, you everybody knows Patrick, especially in this small town we live in. That is true. Everybody knows Patrick, and they know his story. And yes, so but y'all don't. Well, now you do. On now well, you do. now you do. If you haven't like fast forwarded, really. <laughs> okay, so tip: How do you stay youthful, Patrick? How do you stay? Like I told you before, he. When he had his brain injury, like brain injured people have a tendency to kind of like stop maturing or stop. They plateau. Sort of like what age, not always yeah. and not in every way, but like Patrick right. has a very youthful outlook, I think, because mm -hmm. of that. So how do you stay youthful, Patrick? Don't let these grays here and there <laughs> on my beard. I didn't ask to grow gray. It just sort of happened. Isn't that funny what? how that happens? 
Yeah, no, our dad, our dad had red hair, like right. red hair. So that's right. where I get. My, <clears throat> uh, well, you know, I was born with red hair. Like yes. mine gets strawberry blonde, and Madison, you know, does touch it up a little bit. Yeah, but, you know. But as um, she does mine, she does his too. Yeah, that's but true. See, he's got some red in his beard. And oh yeah, yeah. Since our dad died when he was thirty-four, we don't know right. like what he would. What he would have looked, looked like. like when he got gray. But he obviously he wouldn't have bald. He would. Oh, right. Patrick's got ton. Patrick and Holy Joe, cow. our the, our brothers, my brothers. Both have like thick hair, it's so not fair. Thick hair with body and all that, and then True. me and my sisters got my mom's really thin hair, so it's not fair, but whatever. <laughs> um, okay, so have you ever been to Canada? I have. Oh, Where let me tell you this. I've been to Canada above Seattle, Washington, and Canada above Vermont, and Canada above New York. Okay. Oh. Any place else in Canada you'd like to go? Um, um, like, it, have you ever thought about it? No, not really, because no. I've been to Canada multiple times. But he does love Travel. Love to travel. I love. And tell love us really quickly. Can, yeah. Name off just some places you've been. Okay, I've been to. I can think. I've been to. I've been to Hawaii. I've been to Canada, and Mexico, and Guatemala, and Yana Verde. Yeah, Yana Verde, Guatemala, and then um, 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 Bahamas. Bahamas. Yes. Overseas. And Where then overseas, been? I've been to uh, France, and I've been to England. I went just recently, a couple couple of years ago, and I spent a couple of weeks there in England. It was amazing with missionaries from my church. You've been to Japan. I have been to Japan, Osaka, Japan. You've been to Israel. And I have been to Israel. That's true. He's very well traveled, and he yes. absolutely loves to fly. Absolutely. His favorite thing in the world. He's traveled all over the United States. Vegas, oh, Vegas all the is time. Oh, Vegas. Yes. He's been all over. So. And, and I don't. I don't drink in Vegas. I mean, nope. at all. Period. So right. Vegas is such a fun place to go to eat. He loves to eat. He goes to his place oh. and they go to the buffets that are like $35 a person. And they just eat and they, <laughs> they go look at the sites and, you know, yeah. get a really cool hotel. And it's yeah, just really fun. very, so very if fun. you where would you live if you could live anywhere in the world? Where would be your ideal place to live? Um, I would love to live in, oh, in, in Kauai, uh, Kauai Hawaii. Yes, Kauai, Hawaii, because it was beautiful. Oh, so beautiful, but expensive. Yeah, I bet. Uh, but, so. but if money was no option. That's oh, exactly. Okay. Either there or Israel, or J Jerusalem, Israel, just because of the history. Yeah, Ooh. I'd love to Oh, yeah, and Jesus Jerusalem. lived there. See, that's all happened since his wreck. He's traveled yes. all these places. Yes. Since so he'll go on like a missions trip, or like mm -hmm. he went to England with our brother and a couple of friends. Yeah, so, yeah. That so was he had somebody November there to kind of navigate things for him. It's really hard. Yeah. He could never just go on his own. Yeah. Our sister will go with him, or our brother, or yeah. one of us. And he'll, um, you know, help him navigate because there's no way that he could go to a foreign country and be able to navigate that on his own. There's no. just no possible way. There's so not. he travels when he's in groups and, you know. Yeah. So, but his love, that's probably mm -hmm. like his, right, right below Jesus, probably uh -huh. travel is your next love. True. So. And then food. And, oh, okay. Food. Okay. Food, food, food is right up there. <laughs> yes. Okay, yes. so people want to know, do we go to the same church? We kind of, of course we do. Thomas Rowe. We do. And Patrick's a greeter, so you'll see oh, him at the front if you ever visit. That's right. Shake your hand. All right, Patrick, what advice would you give to a high school boy with a TBI? A high school boy with a TBI suddenly got serious. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, yeah. just like everyday advice. Do you have anything? That's kind of tough. Yeah. I can't imagine being in high school with a TBI. I mean, no. it's tough enough. I don't know. It's just, I, that's got to be I was tough. 21 when the wreck happened, so I didn't actually, I wasn't a teenager with a TBI, so I can't. Advice? Um... Hang in there, Hang for in real, there. for real. It, and I don't want to use the cliche that they use in some streams of thought. It'll get better. For real though, it will get better. Um, this is what I wrote in the book. When you have it, when you when you have therapy and rehabilitation, it's gradual. It's almost not even noticeable improvement. But over a long period of time, you gradually do get way better. You look back at where you came yeah. from, you're like. Holy cow, I remember that. It was only, you know, a year ago or two years ago. Yeah. But it's like, wow, you, you your brain, when it starts to heal. A, our brains are amazing. It's phenomenal. Amazing how they phenomenal. can heal. And yeah. So I yeah, they, it does get better. And also, like, God still has a purpose for you. God still has a plan for your life, even though you have a TBI. God mm -hmm. still very much 
has a plan for your life. So right. don't give up on yourself because he ain't going to forgive up on no, you. No, God's nothing, not. Nothing is a mistake. So right. God will still use you. 100%. All right, what's your go-to Bible verse? Jeremiah 32, 17. <laughs> Go for it. It says, ah, sovereign Lord, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm, nothing is too hard for you. Amen. Preach it, Patrick. Woo! Preach it. Yes. In, in sign language, this is the audience clapping. So you might see me do this sometimes. It's like, ooh, I'm excited. The whole audience is clapping. <laughs> All right. He's passionate yes. about his Bible verse. He loves. True. Okay, so what activities or hobbies bring you joy? I love to videotape with my with my iPhone. Oh, and then I love to take travel. pictures and travel. And you love culture. You love he loves like that is true culture. Like and also like certain documentaries like are fascinating. Oh, oh I love I love watching documentaries. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I do too. Like that's my favorite genre. Like, yes, documentaries are. Uh, phenomenal. They're yes, fascinating. They are. I agree. Hundred so, percent. So I would say your hobbies. I would say is definitely traveling and trying, traveling. trying like new foods and oh, learning yeah. new cultures. Oh, like in Japan. Like, he went. <laughs> like when you were in Africa. Oh, when, right. oh, he's been to Africa. What did you do? Would you in Africa? What you weren't supposed to do? <laughs> oh, yikes! He was in Africa with the group with His Excellency Daniel Arap Moy. He is, he is. Yeah, of course, he has passed away since. You're not supposed to reach over and shake hands with His Excellency. Hey, how are you? Oh, oh, oh. Shake his hand. Oh, sorry. Sometimes that head injury, you know, you know, it just buffers you from, like, reality. And he just walks up, right, right. his hand out, and shakes hey, his hand. I got a picture. I got a picture that I'm, I'm sure we'll, we'll... We'll insert that picture. Yes, we will. Yeah, so... But, but yeah, I, I, when I was, when I was, yeah, that was one of the, well, you know, I was just saying this too. When I was in Japan, we went to a an all-you-can-eat sushi bar. Oh, gross. And there was all, all of these trays of sushi going on. And right over here, there was an octopus. So I grabbed the octopus and I ate the octopus. It was weird. Disgusting. Disgusting, you know. But he tried it. He'll try anything. That's true. Like anything he will try. Even if I made you Brussels sprouts, you'd probably try him. Well, that's true. We have before, so. But but don't. Okay. Let's do <laughs> okay, so let's go through these. Yes, what yes. do you do for fun and relaxation? We know that you love movies. I love movies, and I love, like, voodoo. Not voodoo, the, the, the magical art. No, no. <laughs> Vid video. <laughs> the magical art of voodoo. No, we're not talking about that. But vi video unlimited digital... Um, ultimate, um, I don't know. V-U-D-U yeah. dot com yeah, yeah. on they the internet. Yeah. yeah, he loves movies, he loves to chill, and, and, yeah. and he also... Oh, and I do love to read, that's true. <laughs> he really, 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 really loves to read. That but is true. with his TBI, it is difficult to read, so he does audiobooks. Uh, he'll, he'll read along with the audiobook telling If him. you go to iTunes, and then you, you and then you get an audio copy of your book, whatever it is that you're reading, and then also, also I, I do the audio help reading the scripture every day. Yeah. Every single day. Because if it was just reading, it would be too much. It would be too much. But too his, much. his house is full of books. Of books. Full that is of true. books. But this is funny because before his wreck, uh -huh. he did not no, like to read no. at all. I mean, after I graduated from high school, I got a John Grisham some. So yeah, I, I did that, read. But that was it. That was it. Now yeah. he loves. Wait, he more like listens to them, but he reads a lot. That's true, that's true. Exactly. Okay, so has this is a question about me. Have I always oh. been creative and organized as a child? <laughs> <laughs> hey, why are you oh, laughing? Oh, I mean, I mean, um... Do you, do you remember? Uh, yes, I have been. I was always the organized one. I was always the organized one in our family. And our family was very disorganized. Very crazy disorganized. And I've always had the need for organization, mm -hmm. and I have... My, that's, I've given that trait to my children too. Like right. they like to be organized. Well, the girls at least. Yeah. Jackson's just whatever. Yeah. He can, but. <laughs> Jackson, he's a boy. Yeah. So, uh, so Patrick yes. says, what are yours and my favorite memories of each other? Aww. So I'll tell you what, I was thinking about this because I knew yeah. this question. You haven't had time to think yeah, about it. No. And it wouldn't be like a single memory, but when we were kids, 
when we were like teenagers, right. we, young teenagers, yeah. we lived in this one house and his room was right across the hall from my oh, yeah. room. Yeah. And so every, like, it seemed like every night I would go usually into your room. Patrick was really into music. He's really into right, like, right. concerts. And CDs. CDs <gasps> had just come out. Yeah, it was, it was in like, the 80s. He got this big stereo with these massive speakers and I got yes. this record player for my Ooh, birthday. And, the audience is clapping. So, yeah. <laughs> and I used to go into his room at night and we right. would we would listen to music and we would laugh. We would laugh yes. and laugh and just, yes. I don't know what we did, but it was fun. No, we, we just talked. We just talked and laughed yeah. and it was fun. Mm -hmm. And I think pretty much our, somebody asked if we've been close our whole life. I think we have. Like when we were really True. little, we were very close. Yeah. And every we're the only two kids. Only for a year. Yeah. But you know, what True. are you? Anyway, um, then, yeah, like our teen years, and yeah, yeah. we've always been close, and yeah, uh, what is your favorite memory of me, Patrick? Would that be a, like a hard thing to think of? Um, yeah, I, I mean... There was, there was lots of good times. We yes, had, Patrick that's was true. like the comedian <laughs> in school and true. at home. He was. We were always laughing. He would do impersonations and... But I mean, like, we were always, even mom would just be, like, laughing so hard. Mm. It was so, so, so funny. Okay, so your favorite True. food. They want to know, do you cook? Not so Negative. much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He tries. He's tried. Somebody he likes, does he's, cook a lot. And I've tried to give him recipes, and yeah. we've done some crock pot meals. Yeah, and yeah. He's, he does that, but it's it's not something that he enjoys, I don't think. And, no. And I, cooking for one person is hard. Especially if you have a little tiny kitchen. Yeah, it's a little kitchen. It's like, uh... So, Patrick, we did talk yes. about this. Oh, yes. What is your biggest pet peeve? My biggest pet peeve. Uh, it was yes, hard for him to even think of it. Right, I was thing. like, I don't have pet peeves. Well, all I do have... Okay, I'll act it out. We'll act okay, it out. Okay, 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 ready, ready? We're at a restaurant. Oh. Hi, sir. Can I take your order? Um, yeah. I'd like Coke. Coke. Please. Oh, is Pepsi okay? <laughs> So that's an Patrick, example of my pet peeve. <laughs> Patrick, no, it's not okay. I would have told you, Pepsi, give me back if it was if it was acceptable. It's Pepsi not. is never okay. <laughs> no, we, we probably just made some enemies here, but you know, Pepsi <laughs> is true. never okay. No, exactly. give me water. Just give me yeah, water. Yeah, I'll just take water. That's right. Okay, is it weird how many people will watch you um, in my videos? Oh gosh, that's yeah, weird? that's weird. That's it's my little sister. <laughs> no, but they're watching. They when they watch you. Is oh, that weird? No, not at all. No, because he likes it. it. I was going to say, he likes it. It's true. I want people to recognize me. I, I even told her, I even told her, I said, I said, well, I hope that after we do this little interview, I said, I hope that, that some people will recognize me from the video, from this. Who knows? Um, Who knows? All right, what's your favorite meal that I cook? Could you pick a favorite meal? Um, well, I did just cook you dinner tonight. It was pretty good. That's pretty true. Good. It was very good. I love it when Erica makes like sausage, like I don't remember what it's called, but it's like sausage meat, like 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 sliced up sausage. Or? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It, well, like with rice and with well, corn. Okay, he likes. He pretty much likes everything though. I, I, pretty much. I love cooking for him because it does not matter what I make, even if I make grilled cheese sandwiches or I make. Oh, Erica! Oh, Erica! Did you yeah. These are amazing. Like every yeah. bite. Oh, this like, is so good. It's true. Because it would make a wife very happy because he would like love everything she cooks. Because I don't have a I don't have a wife right now that cooks me right. food. And so I have a sister who cooks me food. Right. So that's amazing. So amazing. The audience is laughing. It's clapping. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so somebody said, Are you a homebody or do you like to travel? Obviously you like to travel. Love to travel. But you also like to come home. Because That's true. you need to rest and mm -hmm. you need to have your sanctuary where you can true get away from the craziness of the world and all the things that are making your brain crazy and true. you need to rest. So you're That's kind of true. both. You do yeah. love you do love to travel. I do. All right. Um, do you like gardening? No. Negative. Yeah, Our yeah, grandma yeah. was the greatest gardener. That's true. Grandma so. Jenny. She's probably got a beautiful garden up there. Yes, yes, she, she does. probably does. She had, and her house would smell like roses, like real fresh oh, roses. Oh, yeah, she and could. like legit roses. But none of us got that uh, gardening gene, that green no. thumb. Do you miss Texas? Desperately. We, we do. But one thing y'all I don't miss is I don't miss that in Virginia, you have all four seasons. In yeah. Texas, you have really hot yeah. summer. 
and then not sew off the rest of the time. Yeah, right. And it's like, eh. yeah. I wouldn't want to leave because I do love that. I love having yeah. snow every yeah. year. Yeah, I yeah. think our whole childhood, I remember like three snows. Mm -hmm. And now, like pretty much every year, we get snow. So True. I'm glad that my kids at least get to have that. But they don't understand our love for Texas. They exactly. just don't. The other day, exactly. Madison said, I don't, I've never understood the stars because I like to decorate with stars. And I said, well, you're not from Texas. So. <laughs> right. and, and tonight, we were like, she's going to get ice cream with her friends. And we we're like, there's bluebell in the but freezer. But there's bluebell in the freezer. Like, no. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> no. She You'd just didn't have, doesn't get it. Whatever. <laughs> exactly. Okay. And Bluebell is, is all over the nation, except for Lynchburg. She'll only eat vanilla. So, uh, yeah. You know, uh, that's, she is missing that's, out. That's, yeah. Okay. True. So what's it like being my brother, Patrick? It's amazing. It's, it's all right, it's rainbows and unicorns. Rainbows and unicorns. All the time. And the unicorns are clapping. <laughs> Exactly. Imagine, imagine. Clapping unicorns, <laughs> clapping unicorns. Okay, I'm going to ask you like a bunch of random questions. Yes. Do you have a favorite pastime? Uh, I guess. Uh, like I guess, something you used to do? Um, past, I guess. I would. Um, I used to, uh, no, this is not my favorite. I used to collect stamps. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Okay, what's your favorite? It's not my favorite pastime. Well, you did, you did like to do I that. Did like I did like to do that, yeah. Not anymore, though. What's your favorite yeah. season? Winter. Really? Mm. Mine is summer. Oh, really? I, mean, I love all seasons. I really do. I love yeah, summer. Yeah, right. especially in Virginia. They're beautiful. Yeah, Ooh. and winter's beautiful. Okay, oh, what, yes, what's your favorite is. movie? Do you have a favorite movie? Patrick likes, like, guys' movies. That's right. Dude I was going to say, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, like, wild and, like, motorcycle yeah. racing. And oh, like, all. Scaling all, buildings. <laughs> that's right. All six of the Fast and Furious. Yeah, like, he yeah, loves that. Yeah. So, those are your favorite? Mm -hmm. Um, the, the one... Um, oh, I love uh, uh, Liam Neeson. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. So his favorite movie is? Knives Out. Knives Out. Oh, I've actually never good. seen that movie. Oh, you haven't? I didn't want to. Madison told me what happened, though, so. Oh, well. But he likes different movies than I do, but he loves movies. Like, we like to go to movies. In fact, we went and we, saw the new Disney movie the other day. Yes, we really did. Good. Uh, what's it called? It Raya? Or Raya, yeah. It's such a good Raya movie. Raya's fun. It's a good movie. It's such a good movie. Okay, do you get along with Marion? <laughs> yeah, course, we, we, we along do. along with Marion, yes. <laughs> Yes, we get along. Yes, very we much. We get along. We, we just don't, you know. They don't like hug and talk about right. the times and, yeah, you know, those there's kinds of no. things. My battery's flashing. I'm going to change the oh. battery real quick. Okay, change the battery. So, yes, Marion and Patrick do get along, definitely. We do. It's true. All right, have you ever traveled to the Bahamas? To oh, yes, I have. Where our sister Ooh, lives. Yes. yes. She's been a few times. I have been a, a few times. I've been a few times. We've all been a few times. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And I want to go back. And As yeah. do I. Yeah. It's beautiful and it's so nice having yes, family there because uh -huh. you don't have somewhere to stay. That's all right, right, Patrick, cornbread or biscuits? Cornbread. Sweet tea or Dr. Pepper? Sweet tea. Ugh. <laughs> I am not a tea person. I do prefer cornbread though. Yeah. Peanut butter or jelly? Oh, peanut I mean, butter. Oh. Crunchy peanut butter. My fave. Woo. Okay, cookies or cupcakes? Cookies because they're not so, there's not all the icing on the top. The, uh, uh, Cookies right. are just solid. If you were going on vacation to the beach or the mountains, which would you prefer? Um, I the beach. The beach, yeah. The beach, the Bahamas. Although the mountains are really great too. The, That's beach, true. the beach, the beach is yeah. for sure. All yeah. right, DC or Marvel? Marvel. I can't even tell you who's in either one. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay, what um, what is your favorite thing about being a brother and an uncle? Oh, I love being an uncle. How many how many children do y'all have? <laughs> I mean, I mean. <laughs> this, is, this is this is the effects of a TBI. True. Once you start adding more children to the mix, he oh, forgets. He yeah. forgets their names. He can yeah. he cannot tell you their names. No. He knows Nor their, their names. birthdays. Right. They're stored in there somewhere. Yeah. But it's kind of like probably. when he had his wreck. Ooh. They said it was like all the information was still there, but someone like shook it all shook up. Shook it up. Shook yeah. his brain all up. So Crazy. he can't necessarily find it. He's in there. <laughs> right. And if you give him enough time, he can figure out your name. Yeah. But he has trouble with it. So let's see. Andrea has six. Oh, okay. Um, Joe has five. Okay. Oh, gosh. That's 11 And so then far. I have four. 12, 13, 14, 15. 15. That's 15 nieces and nephews. Nieces and nephews. Plus, of course, Monet. No, she's uh, sick. Oh, she's okay, okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, so her, and then, her middle and then name she, is her, her middle name is Monet, but phonetically it's spelled Monet. So our niece, my sister's true, stepdaughter. True. Yeah. So when Patrick was in therapy, they taught him when you can't think of a person's name, think of something that will help you remember them. Like mm -hmm. so, he'll do. He does that still. If he mm -hmm. if he sees you and you have like a 
like a, a red, red shirt on or yeah, something, yeah, yeah. he'll remember you as oh, your the red, the red shirt. So he'll think yeah. of some kind of nickname for you. So your name that might not be That is very your name. true. And so our niece is Sierra Monet, and he, it's spelled M O N E T. So, well, it's Monet. So it's Monet. Well, of so for him, her name will always be Monet. Yeah. And it's just always. People that know him just understand that. Yeah. So, you know. Um, but it is hard, so you love being an uncle. You also, I do. Oh, Sierra dear. has two kids, so you gotta remember them now. Atticus. Atticus, who is Snake is named after. I, exactly. And Iris is now... And I've not even... I've met her. He did at Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's, so she's a little tiny, though. They little live in the Bahamas. Person. Yeah. Yeah, a little tiny person. She's mm -hmm. actually gonna be one, like, real soon. Oh. She's so cute. Fun. So, so fun. you love being a brother, too, right? Of course I do. I'm, I'm the oldest of five. He is the oldest brother, yep. Yeah. He's the oldest. And he is not the only... Someone said, are you the only boy, and how did that affect you? But he's not the only boy. He has a brother. We have a brother. And we do. And Joe is five years younger than Patrick, though, so... But he's got up, five kids. I have no kids. Yep. Joe, yeah, they have very different lives. Joe's been married like 15 years. He's got five kids. He's he's um, he's got he's a um, general manager. General manager at oh, well, I won't say where he works, oh, right. but he he yeah, he's doing really great, and he he's. Lot, very energetic, just like Patrick. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, if you watched Elena's wedding video, you'd see him in the video. Where do we want to visit together? <sighs> be, well, it would be fun to go to the Bahamas together. Yes, it would. Like our Austin. whole family would be fun. No, really definitely, fun. definitely. Or I agree. Austin, yeah, go back Austin, home. I haven't yeah. been back to Austin since Grandpa died in And that was 08. 09? Oh, yeah, oh, mine, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. sad. I want to go back to Texas so yeah. badly. True. So, favorite qualities about each other? Ooh. Well, I have to say about you <laughs> that you're very organized, <laughs> like, like, like crazy, like I, uh, whatever. You have a TBI. You oh, were, you, actually, you were very organized before that. You were right. You were very, his apartment was like very mm -hmm. clean, very organized, very meticulous. True. My favorite quality about Patrick is that he genuinely, truly, 100% loves people that is a true statement the audience is clapping the and isn't is that clapping. like Ooh. the commandment to love the lord your god love your heart, god, heart, heart and, and love and your, your neighbor, neighbor as, as yourself. yourself like that is such a hard thing for me to uh, to like it's hard it's easy to love your family it's easy to love right. nice people it's easy to love your neighbors and your friends but it's not easy to love like truly love people, even mean people, people that people that are selfish and rude and mean. Mm -hmm. Patrick just genuinely, genuinely loves people, and that's a that's pretty great quality to have. Like, and it's not it's not phony and it's not like right. forced. He like right. really loves people. If he met you on the street, he would love you. He'd think of a nickname I'd for you. you. He'd hug you. Yes. He probably has to keep social distance right now. Oh, like, so that is so crazy. That was so hard social. For him. Distance. They're, that's their oxymoron. <laughs> Patrick has a really hard time, like not hugging people and like not being around people. It's been really hard for him. Yeah, it's true. It's yeah. true. Okay, so how do you get your hair so perfect in every video that they see you in? Well, you do have a really great hairstylist. I, must I have say. an amazing hairstylist. <laughs> She's phenomenal. But like Look I at, said, notice y'all. I mean, how cool. Sorry, I'm sorry. And Patrick, Patrick, like I said, got they got their thick hair from our dad. Yes. And then my sisters and I got our thin hair from our mom, so it's not fair. Crap. Is there something you're good at or like a craft? Something that you like to do that you're good um, at? What'd you say you're good at? Um Well you're good at sign language, that's cool. True. Um very true. Very true um um i, I like p taking pictures yeah you take good pictures yeah. videos. Yeah yeah, yeah 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 you have quite a collection i do i have yeah quite a lot a Ooh, okay so who's your favorite sibling uh, <laughs> okay, we won't go there. In, angela in case it was, well that's what you gotta say right <laughs> right okay what's your favorite thing about virginia we only oh have a couple gosh. more we're almost done because that's no problem i i, I love the four real, real life seasons up here. You have a real winter, you have a real summer, a real spring, and a real fall. Fall oh, is like the most beautiful one. Yeah, that's know. true. Especially, yes. More beautiful than Texas, although Texas is Texas, is Texas but yeah, it's Virginia true. is beautiful. Have you ever been angry? And why? <laughs> that's a funny question to me because obviously he's been angry and why? Multiple reasons, like all of us have been angry and why. Well, no, that's not yeah. true! <laughs> Fine! Sorry! <laughs> yes, um, obviously. Uh, I, uh, uh, 
Yes, he gets angry a yeah. lot. Everyone gets angry a lot. It's yeah. totally, totally normal if we don't yeah. get angry. It's even, human. Even Jesus got angry. Oh, yes. The Bible it says can be angry, but don't. But sin, yeah, yeah, be angry at sin not. Yeah. Last question. Cha-ching! Do you ever feel disheartened by your past, and how do you lift yourself up and rise above it and still be a positive person? Good question. Do I ever? I, I do, often. I mean, you, when you're alive after a traumatic brain injury and you have to live the rest of your life with the TBI, nobody can erase that TBI from me except the Lord. And it's gradual. And um, you see the effects of, of that. Still I live day. through the effects of that every day. Yeah, of my so it life. can be disheartening. Yeah. But, but how do you find positivity still? And like, like number one, you you could be dead. He'd oh, be dead. yeah, yeah. That every this is true, y'all. Every single time that I walk anywhere, and I walk around a whole lot, whole lot at at, at work or you know whatever, wherever. Every step I take, I think there's a time that I couldn't take steps at all. There was a time when I came out of the coma in the in the hospital, in the rehab hospital, that I was in a wheelchair. Yeah, and I I literally lot. couldn't walk. So why don't you tell them what you do? When you go to Walmart or anywhere. When oh, <laughs> that's a good, good point. <laughs> I intentionally, and this is something I don't even ever even think about. I mean, it's become second nature. I literally, literally park as far away from where I'm going to be going in. Like if I'm going to Walmart, I go ahead and park way over in the way over to the left or wherever. Far, 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 far away so that I am forcing myself to walk, walk, walk back to my car or walk back to the store, whatever. Because there was a time that I couldn't even walk at all, not even one step. Take that, Satan. That's exactly right. So see, you got to find the positivity That's in true. the everyday things. It's true. Everyday things that we take for advantage, exact take for granted. Take for granted. Patrick's like, yeah, well, I couldn't do that. So now yeah. I'm going to like do it even more. Do it, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to walk even farther. Yeah, so I couldn't walk before. I think you have to be in a state of mind. Obviously, like it's only through the Lord that you're able right. to find hope and um, positive, you know, have a positive outlook and right. all that. So, like, obviously, you have to make a choice. Mm -hmm. Do you? You could be angry at God, and you could be sad right. that you don't have a wife, and you could be all these things that the devil would want you to be. But you have to make a choice. Mm -hmm. And when you when you have Jesus in your heart, like you can't help but be a joyful person and mm -hmm. happy and you know. And also I read the Bible every single day. <clears throat> every day, every day of my life. Um and it doesn't take a crazy long time to read through like I have I, I read a Bible reading plan that breaks it up to a little bit of the Old Testament, another little bit of the Old Testament, and then like Isaiah, and then the New Testament. That smooths it out to where, because I listen on audio, if I spend no more usually, no more than 20 minutes a day focusing on reading through the scripture, I will have read through the scripture how every many, single many day. How have you read through the Bible? I have read through the Bible. I came back to Liberty, in, I came back to Liberty in 98, and basically, ever right. since 1998, I mean, this is what, 2021. 20, 2021. So that's, how many years is that? 22. 22 years. Wait, the audience is clapping. I was born in 97, it should be 24, so 23 years. Wow. <laughs> We're not good. Math is not yeah, my story. Yeah, math is not my Jackson. forte. Um, yeah, no yeah, Jackson. So you've read through the Bible lots of times. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, 20, 20 plus. So any plus times. any parting words for all your fans on YouTube? Hopefully hopefully his story yes. um, gave you some sort of like insight into him and, yes. and into the miracle that he is and maybe you'll get his book when his book comes out i'll definitely tell you guys about it definitely it'll be awesome what's it called it's called never 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 quit never quit don't get bitter get better <laughs> don't get bitter get better i like it that's so great and i'll and i'll like i said i'll add some pictures along the yes. way hopefully you enjoyed the pictures and enjoyed this little Q and A, and I have enjoyed spending time with y'all for real, for real. Yeah. This is true. It was fun. It was it fun. Was. It uh, we started about an hour and a half ago, so that's. Fun. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my god. I mean, it was not recorded. Well, right. It's but true. Patrick and I have some uh, bluebell ice cream over in the freezer. That is 
calling our name, so I think we earned it. My throat is like dry from all this talking, but thank you all so much for all your questions. Thank you for tuning in to this Q and A. And um, true, I'm not sure if it's going to be in one video or two videos, but um, Patrick will, will always be in the videos anytime he's there. I'll make sure it's to true. showcase him because he's lots of fans out there. Yes, all of y'all are so sweet, and we love you. And uh, I'm praying for you all the time. I'm going to leave you with a scripture verse, which is. Patrick's favorite scripture verse, which is Jeremiah 32, 32 17, 17. In the New International Version. Okay. Ah, so oh, sorry. Yes. I'll leave that at the end for our scripture for today. Nice. <laughs> so, anyways, keep watching our videos. Keep looking for Patrick. He's pretty awesome. He's literally a walking miracle. So now the audience is clapping. Him. The audience Yay! is clapping. Now Ooh. when you see him, you'll understand his story. And yeah, True. If, you, if you see him do something, you're like, wow, why? Like, I don't understand. Or why did this? And why did that? Why the yellow why, shoes? Why the yellow shoes? Why is Patrick not married? Why is right, it right. so outgoing? Well, now you know. Now you know the story of Patrick Andrews. It's true. And it's a, it's a crazy story. There's a whole, yes, whole lot that we did not include. It's true. But that is the gist of it. Maybe one day we'll go into more detail. But exactly. anyway, we love you. Praying for you. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>